Hi everyone, and welcome to the second video of Canva Crash Course. If you don't have an account with Canva yet, watch our first video to learn how to sign up. In this video, we'll log into Canva and introduce you to your home screen and show you how to navigate it. Let's get started. To log into Canva, you'll go back to canva.com. There you'll see the home screen again with the Get Started with Canva. And then if you go up to the top right corner, you'll see the login button. From there, you'll input your information that you use to create your account. For me, I just go ahead and log in with Google. Once you've logged in, you'll see your home screen. In the middle of your home screen, you have templates that you can browse through, different categories to narrow your search, or if you know what you're looking for or the type of content you want to create, you can use the search bar to find it. On the very top left, you have the Canva navigation. This allows you to search through Canva's different pages. Here you can find some more templates, some information on different features they offer, tutorials on how to use their platform and graphic design tips, and also their pricing for different versions of Canva. Right below that on your left, you have your workspace navigation. The top option is the recommended for you. This is part of the home page of Canva and it has a list of their templates and the search bar as well as the categories. You can either continue scrolling down to view their selection for the different categories, or you can click on one of the categories to narrow your search. Each category is grouped with different designs, whereas if you scroll down, it's grouped by the type of content. For example, if you click on the marketing template, you'll see that it gives options for different social media ad templates, as well as logo and other visual content. But if you scroll down on the home page, it's grouped by the type of content and you can view their selection of that content. For instance, they have a selection of just poster templates for you to look at, and from there, you can click to see all. Below the recommended for you option, there's all your designs. Once you start creating designs, they'll be saved here so you can edit them or reference them for other designs. If you have a lot of work, you can group them into folders. After all your designs, is the shared with you. Canva allows you to share designs with other people and collaborate. If you have a team or other people you are working with who also are using Canva, you can share your designs with them. Below shared with you is the brand kit. As we talked about before, Canva has different pricing options for different versions. One of these versions is Canva Pro. With Canva Pro, you'll have access to the brand kit, which allows you to create a color palette to help you with consistency. You can keep your brand logo designs in one area, as well as any chosen fonts that you have that you want to use for your designs. Canva Pro offers access to more visual content such as photos and graphics and is not a bad option, but you can still do a lot with Canva's free version and have access to a lot of their content. Canva's free version is great for people who are looking for a simple and easy to use graphic design platform to help their business. There is also the option to buy certain content without having to sign up for Canva Pro. You can do this with some of Canva's photos. After the brand kit, you have all your folders. Here you can view all your designs again and look through your liked photos. Or if you haven't already, they give you the option to start browsing. You can look through your purchase content. Some of Canva's photos require a one-time payment for different license agreements for the photos. Most of the photos are multi-use licenses, so you can download the photo and use it in and out of Canva for a one-time fee. You can also look through your shared designs again, and there's also a photo for your uploads. Any photos or graphics that you upload onto Canva will show up here, and there's an upload button in the top right where you can go and find images or graphics that you have or made that you want to include in your content on Canva. There's also a trash folder on Canva, which is handy in case you recently deleted a design that you ended up needing again or just need a visual element from it. After all your folders is the trash option again, and below that is your team. You can create a team on Canva by inviting people to join your team and entering their email address in the sections below. If you have a lot of people on your team, you can form them into groups. And you can also share folders with them. Below your team option, you have your likes, purchased, and uploads again reiterated. Well, there you go. This was a quick introductory video to show you how to navigate your homepage and your workspace. In our next video, we'll go over how to use Canva's artboard and we'll walk through how to create a logo design using Canva's templates. That's it for this video today. Thanks for watching.